You got started in again. Fuck, man. You got started in again. I mistakenly pressed my Bluetooth because my ears was itching. <laughs> and guess what happened? I stopped the recording. Motherfucker. All right, let's go again. You feel me? It's March 9th, 2022. I have roughly less than 10 minutes with you guys. I'm going to squeeze in 10. You feel me? March 9th, 2022. This is the third month of the year. There's 12 months in a year that boys are ranked to. Literally. There's 12 months in a year, like I was saying earlier. I have to repeat everything that I said already. So good. I might record. I might upload both of them fuck it there's 12 months in a year um of course there's 12 months in a year out of the 12 months in a year you have half and half that's six months and six months and when you broke those when you break each six months down you got three and three so it's a game of life itself you have three quarters you have three months in a quarter <clears throat> and this is how you operate yourself you have three months in a quarter. You feel me? When you when you see it like that, a year ain't shit. The year comes by so fast. It is like a day in somebody <laughs> and niggas like the way we think. You feel me? So you have three quarters, three months in a quarter. So every three, that's four quarters. So every three months is one quarter that passes by. So it's like you're playing the game of life itself. So make sure that you go hard every quarter and you have three months to do it. If you have to commit yourself to something, this is what you do and this is how you do it. This is how you move forward. I've been committed to um, jogging for the last quarter of last year. I've been doing it for six months now. I don't even think it's six months yet, honestly. I'm, I'm probably lying. And most of the time when I do lie, it's just misinformation on my part. It's not like I deliberately lie. It's just that I don't have the numbers down right. But I haven't kept track of how long I've been running because it was a long-term goal, you feel me? But let's just assume last quarter, let it pass. One thing for sure and two things for certain, I've been doing this before January, you feel me? So since last quarter, let's just say, okay, I'll start it off this way. Since the first quarter of this year, I've been running for three months straight. You know what I mean? Let's just say it like that, bang. So that's something I've been doing for the first quarter of this year. Of course, I plan to do it for the rest of the year, of course. So you have three months in a quarter, you have four quarters in a year, and we are operating. You see, when it's a game in the basketball, they have a shot clock and they have a clock that's running. Your clock that is running is under the sun, literally. The earth is rotating under the sun, uh, around the sun itself. So, which meaning there's 24 hours in a day. You feel me? You got 24 hours in a day. You have 365 days a year. You have um, 12 months in a year. You feel me? So you have 10 years in a decade. So it keep going, man. Keep going. You feel me? But anyway, we are operating under the law that's already in place. That is already ob already in play already. The physics, the physics of it already. So in a year. You have to reevaluate yourself and see what you're doing, but you take it little by little. We just go by three three months at a time. Just three months at a time. Just three months at a time. Three months at a time. The next thing you know, you you have accomplished something great within a year. And this is how you do it. Even small goals. You should start off with small goals. You feel me? So you don't become disappointed when you don't see it through at the end of the year. And of course, it helps to write it down. But if you like me and you going through the things that I'm going through, just develop mental notes. That's all. Because sometimes when you write things down, your enemies get to, they don't have no boundaries. So they, they, they look at the things that it's been written down because it's so nosy and so disrespectful and want to invade in your privacy in any way possible. To give you that respect, it's too much burden on them. So they, they love to do these things. So just keep a mental note of these things that you're doing if you're in a position like me but if you have a little bit of privacy then the best way to do it is to write it down and keep it at a place that's visible where you can see it a calendar check it off you feel me each month you're checking it off so you have three months in a year and this is how you check off and this is how you set your goal and everything else if you if you have a goal to save a certain amount of money hold on 
I got like five more minutes. If you have a goal, which I make goals all the time in different areas of my life, each area that is, that is um, that can be placed in a category, I try to place a goal on it. You feel me? And I, I, I play like I'm playing any kind of game, my nigga. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I got quarters in it. You feel me? We, we do it by quarters. We do it every three months and we reevaluate it and could check back on it. He's so obsessed. He's he keep looking at this. I'm like, you don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Be quiet. People don't mind their business. They only assess it from their point of view. And they're not thinking like you. And they're looking at you trying to speak through what you're doing when they're looking at it from their perspective. I'm like, relax, my nigga. You feel me? Anyway. So instead of preaching about how much they hate me, they hate me, they doing this, they doing this. I'm like, God already know these people hate you already. He sees what's going on. This is a God sees it all. So there's no need for you to even speak out these things. Like, they hate me, hate me. The whole world know these niggas is fucking hating on you. Like, <laughs> it's like, so sometimes I like to take a break from what they're doing. And the only reason why I preach about the things that they do, because I realize, let it go. I realize that I'm not the only one that they do it to at times. They do it on a micro level to other people. So I try to put people on by the things that I'm going through, how I notice how well the things that I'm going through. So people can have a knowledge of what is going on. Because they feel smart when you don't know the knowledge itself. So their intelligence is based on hiding information from you. You feel me? That's how they think they smart. But when you intelligence is supposed to be based on everybody having the information out and based on my perspective of how I see it is how intelligence is based on the way I see it has to overdo how you see it so if somebody see it better than I do then I give that person the knowledge of this person is very smart just like Albert Einstein the knowledge was already out there already he happened to see the theory of relativity because that's something that he wanted to see and he he took time in seeing it it wasn't like there was hiding the world from everybody else he happened to take he happened to take note and, and care of something that he cared daily about but these people the way they think is that they want to hide the information from you dumb you down then by holding on to that information it makes them feel smarter because you don't know nothing about it so when i go through the things that i go through i like to share my experience my struggle my pain my joy and everything else like that so just in case you know somebody or you happen to go through it you can get to tell these people about the information too so they don't feel so smart about themselves because they're really not smart they're not smart because if they were smart they wouldn't do the things that they do if you knew better you do better you feel me? That's when we know they're not smart. But the only time they feel smart is when they keep something something away from you so they can dumb you down. You feel me? This is the reason why they always trying to poison you. They try to hit, hit you over your head. Here I go again complain. But anyway, three months out of the year, you feel me? And this is how we do it. Like, So if you have um, a goal, financial goal, if you have school, I see some people going to salon school right now, a few white girls, blondes, you feel me? Shout out to the blondes out there. One of a kind, the real one at that, um, and the brunette, the red one, well, the red hair, whatever. I see a, big, a white girl's going, a few black girls too, shout out to y'all. I can't see nothing else. Um, so three months out of the year, right? This is how you plan your shit, you feel me? You have to be so invested in yourself and the way you moving that you wouldn't have time to be paying attention to somebody else so if you have three months out of the year to plan this you know that you're keeping yourself busy so you wouldn't be in somebody else's business so you wouldn't have to stay around being nosy and trying to stop somebody else from their grind because you don't even have time to finish your own grind you feel me you're playing a quarter it's a game it's not a blowout you how can you blow yourself out when you compete with yourself you feel me of course it's a blowout to other people because that's a different category of comp competition but when it comes to yourself, yeah, you, you don't stop learning. You are constantly learning. You are a child of God. When you are a child of God, that means that there's always room to grow. You feel me? That means that you that, that means that what you want to accomplish cannot be accomplished just by you. It's like it's going to take a longer, longer time. And maybe you've reached your financial goal, but you also wanted to reach mental strength. You feel me? You want, there's so many other goals that you can reach. You feel me? Like I said, some girls over there, they go into school. They also have the, the first first three months. That's a quarter. Then another quarter. Then another quarter. Now the first year is down. Bomb. 
feel me? It could be a four-year school. Your, your, your quarter could be a whole year. You feel me? So this is how you break it down. You have to see by quarters, and you have to see by as a game. You have to have plays, strategy, and you have to stick to the plan as if you want to win. You feel me? And it's not narcissistical when you do it that way. It's just that you, you um, remember, we, we are already at a disadvantage. The fact that we have to do that. So you have to acknowledge the fact that I am at a disadvantage. I am weak in this very moment. The only way for me to be strong is to eat my Wheaties. So by eating your Wheaties, you have to plan every morning to make sure that you got your nutrients. So in that explanation, this is this is how you go about doing a plan. You have to see each plan as your nutrients. That will empower you later on in the line. So with each quarter of things that you're doing, like let's just say you have a savings plan, but I, every paycheck, I'm going to put a dollar. Just, just talking. We're going to put a dollar down. You feel me? So every morning, you putting a dollar down. You putting a dollar down. Those are your Wheaties. And these are the things that's going to make you grow a character of consistency. These are the things that's going to make you grow a character of, you know, of of, of, of keeping your word. You feel me? So every paycheck, you stick, you putting on an amount. And you keep going. You keep going. You keep going. That's how you do it. So you evaluate yourself every six months from every or three months, you know, every quarter if you want to, or every half time. Feel me? And this is how you get this shit done. But you know, I'm about to go when you feel me. I think you're gonna call this game of life or games. You, <laughs> you fuck.